Hi, so for the Orbis Pictus Award, I chose to do a splash of red, um, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin by ben Jen Bryant and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. So for the age group, I said it was about 7 to 10 year olds. Also, um, I said it's a biography because it's the story of um, Horace. So the story is about, it starts off about when Horace was born and it tells you know about how interesting he was and how everyone loved him and a theme that goes throughout the story is he has big hands, big hands to work, big hands to do this, to do that. So I thought that was pretty interesting that that was you know a theme that went throughout the story. Um, so he it's when Horace gets a little bit older you know, old enough to do chores, he's busy, constantly busy doing chores. Um, when he finally gets a chance to, he finds a scrap of paper and charcoal and he draws. So his sisters are like, draw me a picture, Horace, and then says, and so he does. Um, later on, he has to drop out of school because his father left the family. I think this was when he was in eighth grade. And so now he has to, you know, step up, step up, get a job and you know help out with the family and so he does this but he still tries to make time for his passion art um a little bit older um he's in the army yes he's in the army and you know he even draws pictures for um his soldier friends it says and then one day he ends up getting shot in the arm and he can no longer move and get sent home and he struggles. Horace struggles to, you know, find a job because no one will hire him. He struggles because he can't draw anymore, because he can't lift up that hand. Um, so he is having a rough time, but through all that struggle and all those obstacles, he figures out a way to draw. He uses his left hand to hold up his right hand to draw and paint pictures. So he begins to draw pictures and um, he tries to sell them. He sets them up in an old abandoned building. I can't remember what kind of building it was. And no one buys them. Everyone loves them. No one buys them. And finally, um, this art person comes by and they ask Horace about his artwork and they want to um, do an uh, art showing for him, just Horace's art. And it is um, successful for him. So then we just hear about, um, you know, how he continues to draw pictures and, you know, how now he's even busier than ever now that everyone knows about him. So he becomes successful. And um, another theme throughout the story is that he uses a splash of red in all his drawings. So that's why the book's called A Splash of Red. So I think this book would be great to read for children, especially young children. I thought it was very interesting. I thought the illustrations were very unique, and I thought, you know, they really called uh, the reader's attention. I think, you know, biographies usually have a bad connotation just because they seem to be long and boring, but I, th I thought this one was um, very fun to read, and I think it would be great for those younger students. Um, for my activity, I said that I would have children work on paint. You know, this whole book was about painting. So I thought, why not? Why not have the students do their own artwork? So I would have the students paint a picture of something or a place that they see every single day. And I would like them to incorporate the color red, just like Horace did. Thank you.